Hey everybody, it's Opulent Spiritual, another reading. So this is going to be your weekly reading for the 25th to the 31st. This is it. This is the end of March. Yeah, today I'm not, um, I'm not really feeling it. I woke up. And I feel like just like no no I don't know, I just didn't feel right. I don't feel right today. There's definitely things going on here. I've been feeling like this for a little while, but today today it's hitting me. A little bit more than usual. It's the premonitions, you know? Like things are about to happen now. Things are about to happen. So before I started the reading, like I, I was hearing that, like, that sound, um, Not that sound, that, that scene from uh, Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire in it. The old, the real Spider-Man, like the old Spider-Man. The one I grew up with. Um, that part when, um, when he's hearing that, I don't know, that music in the background and it's like, you know, like he's being reminded from like Uncle Ben, like, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. So there's something where you're getting some kind of great power, but it's gonna be like a big responsibility. You're getting a big responsibility of something, but it's like, it's, it's bittersweet. Like, it's like you're, you're, you want it, you're happy about it, but it's scary. You know what I mean? Like it's, I don't know. Like, are you ready for this? Cause it's happening. It's gonna happen. So my candles, I use a new candle today, brand new, a fresh candle here. Um, my other one was done. So we're moving on to a new candle. This one I got a little while ago at this uh, spiritual store that I, I never went to before. It was like a brand new store um, in another area that I don't go to practically another state pretty much and um so that could be significant maybe you're going into something like you never went to before you know you're going to another state you're you're going but it's like not super far but this is a square candle which is interesting i don't think i ever used a square candle before it's a very powerful candle it's the color of purple and green. So green is the heart chakra, purple is the crown chakra. So there's something with that. I'm hearing I'm needing to protect you. I just, I just heard that right now in my head. I'm needing to protect you. Now I'm getting like a vision in my head, like hands coming behind you to choke you. So it's like someone wants to get rid of you. They want to choke you, but it's, it's not happening. This person was trying so hard to get rid of you.
I'm hearing how far will they go? So let's find out what's going on for you. This is the weekly cup. And we have the hand of fate here that we will look at in a second. And here's the cup. All right, I'm seeing an hourglass right here, right away. So time is here. It's the perfect timing. And there's a wand right here. Can you see that? You manifested this and look at this. It's like all the way here. This is like a big, powerful spell. And there's a bone here. So something is about to be revealed to you. A truth, letter J, letter S, year of the dragon, year of the snake. Yeah, and I'm hearing um, TLC. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Listen to the rivers and the lakes that you used to. Mm. You're about to release a spell here. Here's the cup. There's a big uh, letter V there for a victory here. Wow. And now look how much stuff is happening on this side. Right in the middle of the week. Look at this. This is a very important conversation between two people. Right in the middle of the week. This is like... I'm hearing life or death here. Whatever conversation this is, this is very important. Year of the dog, number 11, Scorpio. And here's the plate. There's a lot of stuff on the plate too. All right, let's see what's going on. Number nine, year of the monkey, letter S. I'm looking right here first. G, O. Number 15 and the 18th is here. Mm. All right, here's the cup. Year of the Dragon. For some reason, I just want to start crying. I, I don't know what the hell's happening. Like, I don't feel right with this. Something doesn't feel right. You don't feel right. There's love here between two people. And there's someone watching from afar, you being with somebody else. This is, you know, this is somebody's energy that's very negative. That's what I'm picking up on. We have letter J here. Letter H. It's like I'm feeling the person that has extreme envy and jelly, jealousy. <laughs> jelly. <laughs> jealousy towards you. This person is very, very not nice. Year of the pig is here, Cancer, Aries. Year of the rat. And there's a lock here and a key. Maybe you promised this person something and you didn't deliver. Maybe you said, oh, we would be together forever. And then you go and find somebody else. This person has a very, very extreme hatred towards you that's why i was having that vision of the hands around the neck but like coming from behind you type of shit be careful because this person could be hurting you this week i don't know about physically like in physically but like spiritually 
energetically. Yeah, this person wants to, to hurt you. They, they, they want to hurt you. I am seeing a peacock here. You're just so, you're doing so good. You're doing so great. And you're going to a brand new phase of your life. This week is a brand new phase in your life. Year of the Ox is here, Aquarius. And there's one person in particular that does not like this. This could be connected to your material wealth here with this goldfish. Love. You're being presented a gift. You're being given a gift here. Year of the goat. Aries. Year of the rabbit. And I'm seeing four. So the next four days are going to be very significant. Capricorn's here too. Right here. And there's a mountain. So there's an obstacle. There's an obstacle. You had so many troubles here. So many problems. Like, I, I'm really sorry. You know, I'm really sorry. Okay, so you could be dealing with someone that's like Italian-American or something. Because I just heard in my head, like, where's the gabagool? <laughs> I don't know. I just heard that. So I don't know. I'm seeing Capricorn, Aries, Year of the Rat, Year of the Snake is here. There's a proposal here, 111. We have Pisces and we have someone reaching out for help. There's someone that's going to reach out for help right now, this week, for you. Because we're in the last week. Well, it's technically we're going into Aries or we're in Aries energy. But this is like the, the last thing in Pisces of March. Or this person already reached out to you earlier. But this person is very far away now. You're not even near them anymore. Letter Z. And I'm seeing that fish with the, it has like that light on its head. I don't know what it's called, but angler fish or something. Yeah, that fish is like, I'm hearing demonic, but obviously like that's not true. But it's like someone that is so negative. They, it's like they really want to catch you unnoticed here. Because you know that fish uses that light to catch the prey. It dangles it in the dark depths of the ocean. So it's like something that looks so tempting, tempting here to grab. And there is a tear here. So be careful of this because this is, you might feel, because I'm getting the energy here of like, like I'm feeling that you already know that this person's like this. And you're just, you just feel sad for them. You know, when you just feel bad for somebody, not bad for them, but you just feel sad for them. Like, wow, are you serious? Like, you really, you're really trying to do this right now. Like, you know, I'm 10 steps ahead of you, right? It's like, you're aware of this and you just feel disappointed in this person at this point. At this point, you're just like, wow, really? Really? You know that I know that, right? You, you know that I know it's you, right? But they're still trying anyways. It's, it's, that's very strange. Year of the horse. And I see a wizard here. There's a wizard here. He's coming to help you. Cancer. This is somebody that's coming to help you. Year of the goat. Letter M. R I. Seven, year of the horse. This wizard is giving me almost like the hermit card. So they could have Virgo placements. But it's like, 
this person's trying to help you move forward. So this can actually be like a spirit guide here that's helping you along your path towards success. And they don't want you to feel this way. They don't want you to feel any towards a, any attachment or any kind of hurt or anger towards this person because this person it's in their nature to be this to be this way. Because sometimes people just have that evil. They just have that evil side. I mean, we all have a light and shadow. But that this goes back to that Spider-Man thing. I know that I know that um it sounds corny or something. I don't know. But like you know I'm hearing Billy, but you know, Spider Man could have went evil with that shit. You know what I mean? Like he could have took those powers and went the other way. You know, he could have went towards the dark end of it and just started killing everybody or whatever. You know what I mean? Using those powers for evil, but he used it in a good way, no matter what, to help and save people. There's something with that. There's something important with that. Because I'm seeing the rose that never dies, like in the in that uh, jar in Beauty and the Beast. It's like a never ending story. It's like a rose that never dies. It's like a love that never dies. Wow. And I'm seeing letter M there. I'm seeing triplets here triplets being born here or being conceived wow i don't think i've ever seen that in a cup before and letter i is here yeah now i'm hearing that song from like spongebob like that jellyfish song when it's like, you know, that lady, <laughs> I don't know the words, but yeah, it's like towards the end of the week, I'm seeing that you're going to be lighthearted after all of that. You're going to have a, it's, it's going to be a hard week. I'm seeing letter Z and letter K here. It's in letter L. It's it's going to be a tough week. You I feel like you're going to be very disappointed because of this person. We have Leo here and we have a bat. We also have somebody doing some karate right here. Karate. Get into shape. Or maybe you're going to be doing some karate on this person. I don't know. <laughs> you see that, right? Yeah, this you you're going to be so disappointed in this person. You you're when you find out or you already have an inkling of who this is, you're going to be like so effing disappointed in this person. I mean, you're going to be like it's actually going to hurt you. In a set for in like your body, like in your heart, you're gonna be like, "Wow, are you serious? Like you you really you really were doing that?" And this was and you've been having this feeling for like a while. That's what I'm saying. Like it's like finally finding out someone was actually like hurting you this whole time that you didn't want to believe you you didn't want to believe this. You didn't. Year of the monkey, Virgo. Year of the dragon. You see the candle? I'm very upset. And you know when like, 
hold on, give me a second to explain this. So like that person that is doing that to you, right? It's 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 this weird thing. It's like they actually they actually really like you, right? I know that sounds so weird, but it's like they they like you so much that they hate you. You understand what I'm saying? It's like I can't have you I like you so much. I want to be you. I want to be like you. I look up to you, but I hate you. It's it's very strange. And that's why I feel like you're going to be like, wow, are you serious? Wait till you hear about this because it's going to be flooding in very quick. This week, it's going to be like, like real quick, like, vroom, 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 like, mm-mm. 27, the 27th is here twice. You have it here and you have it over here. So someone fell over the cliff, they're gone. And you're still reaching out to help them, but they're gone already. And the angel is over you like, you know, my child, like, you are you have to move on you you're having a hard time leaving this thing that's already gone it's it's it fell already and you're still reaching out your hand but the angel's like my child it's done it's time to move on the hand of fate you have the north going going towards your true north here year of the dragon Year of the Tiger, Year of the Horse, 57's here. Cancer, Taurus. You have number one, number three. Right here, one and three, eight, five, two. Year of the Ox, Year of the Dragon, Year of the Rat, Year of the Tiger, Pisces, Taurus, Capricorn, F. And this is a big Capricorn here, big devil. You know the devil card? Right here. Connected to number three, year of the tiger, Pisces. Next three days. Something with the devil card here. See the tail? You're going to find out who this is. This, this, It's very weird cup. You know, all the cups are different. I don't know what's happening. You know what I mean? But when I get a cup like this, this is very, very, very bad. Okay. This is an evil thing here. This is not nice. I mean, obviously I told you, but it's like, I'm hearing who are you because this, this devil is carrying two gifts here. Who are you? Being, it's tempting you, year of the pig, Sagittarius. It's tempting you with the twin energy here. This is someone that's tempting you because they, they're pretending to be like you. You get what I'm saying? They're trying to mirror you. Liking the same things as you. They're trying to get on your side to tempt you, to hurt you. You have year of the cat. You have another angel here. Something with a cat is protecting you. The cat spirit. When you see a cat this week... It's protecting you. It's protecting you. You have number 13 here. And you have the Ace of Cups here. And that Ace of Cups has a lot of stuff in it. And it has Year of the Dragon. So it's this year we have six. This is June. Healing. Love. Right? 
It represents the lover's card, a choice, letter C. You have an Ace of Cups here, so that's very nice. And you have a Vulture here that's helping you clear the, the evil, the end, the end, I'm hearing, the end. And look at all these threes, three, three. You have so many threes on this plate. So the third or three days, three weeks, three hours, three months could be for some people is going to be when this is like cleared out because everybody's on a different thing here, but this is what I'm seeing. Very interesting. This week is going to be very, very interesting. Here, hold on. Let me crack my back a little bit. All right, let's look at the hand of fate here. Hmm. Very interesting uh, cup. Very interesting cup. Let's see. All right, let's see what the angels want to say first. New love. Wow, this just took a turn. <laughs> New love. And, and they're pointing at the cup. Hmm. Body care. So some of you, you could be finding new love within yourself, like a newfound love within yourself or loving your body, you know, loving who you, who you are, what you look like. Maybe you had body image issues. You know, maybe you never loved yourself. This also is new love here, but there's two angels shooting two arrows here. So it could be a choice between two people. Hold on, let me ask the tarot really quick already. Who's this new love? Five of coins. Three of coins. This is someone that feels left out in the cold. But they never gave up hope. And we also have someone very happy here. So two choices, four of coins. A lot of earth energy here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Yeah, two of wands. Who are you going to choose? You have two choices here. You have two choices in love. The first choice never gave up on you. The second choice is always happy, no matter what. Very, very weird on um, conflicting energies here. Let's see what the fairies want to say. Flower power. Spend time with flowers and flower essences, essences to increase your personal healing. Yeah, a lot of you are healing something this week. Like a personal thing. Like I'm hearing an inner endeavor. Travel. Maybe you're traveling this week. Or someone's traveling towards you or you're traveling to like something very close to your house. Because I was talking about that in the beginning. Like next, like the state next to you or something. An upcoming trip. I was going to say an upcoming event. Proves to be life changing in positive ways. Patience please. So it's, you know, spirit saying, you know, patience with this. What you're asking for is coming about. Have patience as there are unseen factors that need to occur first. Especially with love here. So let's find out the moon here. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. It's time to release negativity, Scorpio. So you have Aries, Scorpio energy. Communication is key, Gemini. New moon in Gemini. So there's something you need to be very clear about. And you have that negative energy here, that shadow that you're taking action. It's time to take action now. It's time to confront this, this shadow within you. It's time to confront it. We have moving. Maybe it's about you moving on. You know? Balancing a situation. Hopes and wishes. Something with the summer, the spring. Right now, there's something about balancing a situation moving on here. Holding on. Yeah, you're holding on still. 
you're holding on. You, maybe you still have hope or this person still has hope. But it's time to move on here. All right, let's see what's going on in love this week. We have not enough. That's why it's that body care, that angel. Frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence. This person made you really feel so beyond like shit. Like beyond seduction. And you have the... <laughs> So this could be the same person that's coming back around that they just know how to trigger you. Like they make you feel like at shit, like make you feel like shit and then they seduce you. And you like that because a lot of you, you, you have that trauma bond thing. You know, like you like being abused. Because when you've been abused like your whole life, that's what you think love is. So you need that like fighting, that argument. Shit, if someone's not treating you like that, you're like, oh, this is not love. And then you go try to find somebody that is going to treat you like that. I know it sounds like effed up, but that's what I'm seeing here. Some of you, this could be new love that's coming in that you're going to have a very deep attraction to. You're going to want to date this person. Maybe you're wanna, you want to have sex with this person right away because you're going to be sexually attracted to them. Like deeply. Okay, we have year of the dog here. 18. Okay, I saw that in the cup. Number 13 as well. The dog. So this could be um, that person here. Let's see. I'll just give you the highlights of this. So you can make your own decision on what you think. Number 10, year of the rooster. Libra. Friendship, loyalty, receiving help or a helper. Someone who is trustworthy, a pet. So it could be even your pet that's giving you like, you know, some kind of guidance here. Love that grows from a friendship, loyal partner. Supportive work environment, help, helpful coworkers. A doctor or a healthcare provider receiving medical help. 18 days, the 18th day of the month, July. So this person could have cancer placements. Okay, so this could be a female coming into your life. This could be you if you're a female. 29, letter A. Very interesting. And then you have the clover. Mm. So luck is on your side here. Very interesting. It's like a very up and down week. Like how I told you. Because of that. Number nine, year of the monkey. Number six, year of the snake. We have Virgo, Gemini, and Year of the Ox, Aquarius energy. A lucky streak, gamble slash chance, surprise, opportunity. So you could be getting a surprise opportunity. And I'm hearing a drop, drop by, a surprise drop, drop by, like someone dropping by to see you. Surprise encounters, happy but short lived. So this is going to be very quick. Health, recovery, good health. Timing, February. Two days, two weeks, two months, suddenly, unexpectedly. So this is sudden, unexpected here. This could have been someone that you were dealing with since February. Very interesting here. They do have a lot of Aquarius placements. Could be. All right, you have springtime, April, June. Right? And then we have intuition. Use your intuition here. New home. So a lot of you, you're moving to a new home, a new location here. Something that you call home, you're moving. All right, not a good card, Cactus. Dry time. Drought in love life or career. Stagnant. Obstacles and path. Money problems. Relationship problems. Timing. Winter. I am grateful. I am loved. I am blessed. I am raising my vibration. All right, so you, the next card is coffee cup, which is right now this coffee cup. Answer will come in the very near future this week. Yes to a question. You have yes, right? You have a yes here. Upcoming event, future plans, water and earth signs involved, especially earth. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And you have hat. Renewing, soulmate involved. So this could be someone that's a soulmate here. Childhood memories, dealing with family, past life connection, healing a traumatic, I was going to say healing a traumatic issue, but healing a traumatic experience, let go. 
Let go here. And you're healing something. Seahorse, family matters. Hmm. It says dealing with family and family matters here. Something with your family. Could be a water sign. Family member. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. August is here for some reason. Hmm. August could be significant. I know that's later on, but this person could have Leo, Cancer placements, Virgo. Something is happening in August that's connected to this week. Staff, you will be taken care of in difficult times. V, that's what I saw on the outside of the cup. Victory in some endeavor. Wishbone, a wish is granted. Maybe it's not going to be granted until August. Or this person coming towards you, they have Leo placements big time that they're going to help you with this wish. It could be that female. Dragon, they could be Chinese ear of the dragon. Beware of self-delusion. Okay. So that's that. Let's, let's move that out of the way. And let's get the charms. September 13th could be significant. Okay, J, G, M. Good Mythical Morning, right? I mean, they're GMM, but maybe you guys like watching that YouTube channel. H, C. I'm hearing haircut, so you could be getting a haircut. Camping. Something about campus here. No. You're definitely saying no. To an X could be. Knox. Locks. Yum. Buddy. I just heard yabba dabba do, you know? Yabba dabba do. The Flintstones. That's funny. Okay. Sebastian. Sabrina. Say You have the rooster. <sighs> Bay. All right, hold on. I need some water. I'm getting all dehydrated and shit. I had this like tea, and um, it was like a new tea I bought, but man, it was like so bitter. It was for like healing, um, like pain and stuff. So maybe you're trying to heal pain right now. Yeah, it's for pain relief. Nurturing tea for pain relief. Okay, let me see. I'm here in Hasselhoff. <laughs> Joe. Yeah, something with your beauty here. And I just heard Peter Pan, Puff. Cauliflower. Yeah, there's some kind of uh, invitation, some kind of uh, letter you're receiving this week. Yeah, there's some kind of news here, it's very important. Yeah, something's over here. It could be with a water sign because this doesn't want to get out of here. Family, something's over. Something's done. Long done. Something with a lighthouse, you're going to be uh, shown the way. You know, you're going to be divinely guided here through something this week. You're going to be divinely guided through something. Two lighthouses. 
Something's going to be very clear. A secret's going to be revealed. Yeah, this, this person's mirroring you. There's someone that's the same as you. This could be that soulmate. This could be that devil energy that someone that's trying to get in your good graces here. Yeah, it definitely could be a water energy look. And you have the metal seahorse here. A lot of family stuff here this week. A lot of family stuff. Like someone's trying to get on your good side. You could be taking a trip. This is a very important... I'm here on an, an intuitive trip. So this could have to do with your intuition. Following your intuition. But this could be a very important trip that you're taking this week. Yeah, something with like um, balance, your vitality, your strength. You're recovering through something here. You're finding balance within the light and dark. 94, year of the dog. Creativity takes courage. This is just um, part of the globe charm, but it got ripped. So it could be overseas, something. Maybe there's a delay here. Live your dream. Yeah, maybe like a luxury purchase is happening this week. Weakness is a choice. Yeah, you're getting some kind of key this week. This can literally be a key to an apartment, a new home, a car. But I feel like a lot of you, you could be moving. That's the key here. Ooh, there's abundance here. Two acorns. I'm telling you, you're coming into union with somebody here. Yeah, and it's faded and destined here. Year of the goat, Capricorn, Aries, water sign energy is here. Especially Leo is here. You're being seen as very beautiful, very attractive here. And something is really nice this week. It's going to, you know how like, <laughs> you know how you could have like a shitty day, right? You're like just having a shitty day. And then all of a sudden at the end of the day, you're like, I'm going to get some ice cream, you know, and that makes everything better. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah, you could be vegan and whatever. There's vegan ice cream. You know, there's all kinds of ice cream. There's no sugar ice cream. You know, there's, there's so many ice creams, right? But like, you know, at the end of the day, if you're having a bad day, you're crying, you, someone made you upset. If you're invited out for ice cream, yo, that makes everything better. Ice cream makes everything better. You know what I'm saying? Like it does. I don't care. I don't care what you say. I could be having the worst day and then I go get ice cream. I'm like, wow, I feel so much better. It makes all the, all the sadness go away. It makes all the stupid shit go away. All right, there's something with the pentacle here. So being divinely guided, protected by all the elements. You're seeing something very clearly now. This definitely could have to do with a soulmate and love here. You're, you're definitely seeing something in love here and it's being protected. This love connection is being protected here. You have good luck. You have lady luck with you. I love you to the moon and back. This person could have... Uh, a water moon, a fire moon here, an earth moon, or that's you. Yeah, your heart's been very empty. It's been very closed off. You haven't been feeling well at all. And like all areas of your life, not just love, you have enemies against you here. You had a lot of negative people around you, especially at work or your family. And something took a long ass time, like a long ass time, but you were making big steps, even if you didn't realize or not, and you're exhausted. You're exhausted. You're so tired. You're done with this shit. You want things to end. Definitely with your family. And this is a home here. You could be moving into your dream home or moving to your dream location here. It's something that's a dream. That could be one of your wishes. You're something with your, your recovery here. Your body. Maybe you're going to be exercising a little bit more this week. Yeah, you have a spiritual key here. A spiritual um, upgrade of something. Yeah. And spirits watching over you, and you're getting wise from an older, uh, getting wise advice from an older person this week. They could have Earth placements, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This could have to do with love. This could be someone that's older than you. Yeah, definitely Earth energy here. Yeah, there's a transformation. There's a renewal in something. Letter Z. That's interesting. Letter Z. Oh, they did not want to leave my finger. And they could have Taurus placements or Taurus season is going to be significant. The end of April going into May when this could be happening. Or there could be a Taurus coming into focus in your life this week. Okay, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Give me a like.
and uh, so other people can find me and subscribe if you want. That really helps me out. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Namaste. Love and light.